You're listening to the Davy Mac Sports Program on the Riotcast Network, riotcast.com. It's the Davy Mac Sports Program. Sports program, yes, sir. On Ridecast.com, you got it. And here's your host, Dave iPhone McDonald. Yeah, that's me, yo. That's the D Mac in the this house in the who the how the heads out body. My name is Eastside Dave. Yeah, they call me the Davey Mac. Sometimes they call me the sports. Master. master! Master! He's the one that we bet after! Oh, nice job, Sean! Oh, yes, sir! With us, as always, hey, Mr. Up? Sunshine, Mr. Me. Ray of Light, That's me. Mr. Happiness, I can't get enough. Mr. Joy, I'm Happy to be here. Chris Peppa Sandberg! Yeah, what's, up? what's up? I'm Jewish. <laughs> Sandberg, that's it. Yeah, I'm chosen. Also I'm with chosen. us. Oh, he knows it. He loves it. Yeah. His name is Sean O.P. Sean O. Sean O. Roy Schaefer is feet away, no. but he's actually doing something that Skinny Man I, I don't see often, but he's he's working. But he's earning his pay. He's, he's doing audio for a client. So he may join us uh, in a few moments. Why would he let us I hear he may if not. there's a client? In the- oh. I believe she is with us tonight. Because I see her flute here, but I don't see her, so Flutesy yeah, okay. may or may not be here. I don't know what's happening. And then Eric Z Eric is here. Z. Oh, oh Flutesy is Flutesy. here. Look at there's her. She Flutesy. came in late. She's all happy. She's willing to be here. Um, Pepper, yeah. all kinds of things are going on. Tell but what, first what, and foremost, a big thank you to Serotonin's Gone. Oh. Why? He's on Kyle. Twitter. He gave me a Raiders of the Lost Ark vintage 1981 comic book nice. that you could see for yourself. It's from 1981. It's it says one. the official comics adaptation of the hit film Raiders of the Lost Ark. It says from the creators of Jaws and Star Wars. So there you go. So a big round of applause for I, Serotonin's Gone. I happen to look that up, and you know how much that's worth? How much? Eight bucks. Eight bucks. That's so an this thing will be on eBay by midnight. <laughs> That's a pack of Marlboro Red serotonin. It's good. No, I'm just, just I put, would never sell this. Just put it on Periscope. You kidding me? I know. Periscope is the new thing. That's all I, I care had about. to warn people uh, for a good 15 minutes, especially Sean O'Barry. Yeah. Watch what you say. Once you get on Periscope, there ain't no taking it back, yo. If you're scratching your head saying, What's Dave E. Mac talking about? It's because I guess this is the new app that I was everyone's scratching talking my head about. Just before the mic well, you have on. lice. That's the problem oh. there. See, Roy would have stung that, Louisa. If you're going to sit there, you sting. You, that's it. I guess that was okay. So let me tell you something. It's against me. Likes head. Just don't do that. Sting it. Flutesy, don't. Flutesy, every time I do like one of these, just sting it. Hey, likes boy. Kiss there my you ass. Go. Kiss my ass, Red. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, baby. Red Mick Dickerson here. <laughs> Red Mick Dickerson. Hey, can I have one of these mints? Come on, you're not paying attention to the shoulder. Can I have um, one of these mints? Go ahead. Go ahead. Have a mint. I love mints. We're going to be do- adding a new podcast, we're cold. thinking. After the David Max Sports Program and the Watchers, it's going to be called Mint Madness, Mint Madness. and we're going to talk about mints for an hour. All things mints. And it's only about mints. <laughs> yeah, we're going to talk I about like smirks. Briar's Mint Chocolate Chip Ice Cream. Pepper was shocking and says he likes mint candy canes. So yeah. we were like, oh my God, this will make for another great show See, that no we, one will... Can we agree to disagree about mints? Right. Again. Just fucking feuding over mints for an hour. Hey, Dave, it's the freshest and podcast yeah. out there. <laughs> so we're going to add that to the ledger. Mint Madness. Expect it soon. 
Nowhere online. Double M, baby. But maybe you get a special Periscope edition. Um, speaking of Twitter, I'm going to tie it into sports. So I tried to start a, uh, a Twitter war with a sports center anchor. <laughs> Which one? Her, her name is Jamie. <laughs> Liter- good literally. Woman. Good woman. That's what a I know. Weak, weak don't, woman. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> We're not, I wasn't even going to go into any kind of weird Artie Lang territory or that anything. Was jo- that was a joke. But Jamie, I, she must have got on Twitter really quickly because that's all she is, is at Jamie. And I know. Wait, wait, wait J A M I E? J A Y M E E. All right, then that's just that's a misspecification Jamie. of the name Jamie. I know, but I mean, usually it's like Jamie ESPN, but Jamie M McF123. Jamie, you know, it's sure. just plain old Jamie. Yeah. Anyway, um, I noticed she was uh, on SportsCenter. I'm watching it the other day. I'm looking at the thing, and they give her Twitter handle. And being the ADD, you know, sufferer that I am, I can't concentrate on two things at once. Once I see, oh, she's on Twitter, at Jamie, I decide I'm going to check uh, out this Sports Center anchor's yeah. Twitter handle. Why not? And the first tweet that I read was, um, look at how cute these deviled eggs that I made to look like <laughs> Easter bunnies are. <laughs> Seriously, bro. Oh this is the Sports I'm, Center I'm, anchor. I'm looking look at how cute <laughs> these deviled Easter bunny eggs are and i'm like there that's that's it jamie sire right there you found her now scroll down because this, really th- this was a few days ago <laughs> but right. uh, i want you just to verify it go down keep scrolling yes, i know dude do you know how uh, twitter <laughs> works you gotta scroll do you know how mouse works computers you scroll down i'll scroll you down no come that? on <laughs> it's frozen hey, your fucking computer's frozen oh here we go okay look, look look there it is there's the tweet read it march 29th um so she ha- actually has like uh, five m's yeah, yeah yeah so it's um yeah. um so caps lock so how cute are these deviled easter bunny eggs i made yeah and then she shows a little picture and she made eggs that to look to resemble little easter bunnies oh, i don't i don't they're pretty damn again cute. i want to point something <laughs> out horrible devil eggs. when the dave man goes on tirades about sports center anchors I want to point out, they are tweeting about deviled eggs. So she can't have a personal life? She can't tweet about her deviled eggs no, she's proud of? No, but what I did was, then she has a link, e is for eat.com. I so I website. clicked on it, and the profile says, Jamie's true passion is food. Oh, that's weird. And traveling. I don't know about this. Go ahead, right there. Like every girl in America. Go right there. <laughs> oh, I'm God. looking. Does she also wear Uggs? Maybe she's... Oh, here it is. is My true passion. Read that sentence. Yeah, chill the fuck out. I'm an Emmy Award-winning sports reporter and anchor, but my true passion is food and traveling. Food Uh. and traveling. Again, you have someone who lives, breathes, sweats, and bleeds sports in in, in, in the Dave Man. And mints. And all I've said is, I can't be uh, on 11 o'clock going, watch Russell Westbrook right here. Yeah! Slam dunk! And the Oklahoma Thunder are up by two. You can't have me on Sports Center doing that shit. No. Instead, deviled eggs over there. So I tried to start a Twitter war with her. What'd she say? Did she I, respond? I wrote that I wrote to her. Hey, what'd you say to her? Because I'm curious now. Very sarcastically, I wrote, those deviled eggs are wicked cute. <laughs> With about 35 exclamation points. She probably thought that was genuine, dude. <laughs> this is why she just won the war, because she pro- A, either she thought it was genuine, or B, silenced me with a two-word response. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so after I wrote the most fucking sarcastic tweet in the history, oh, I go, those eggs are wicked cute. P.S., what happened in the Sixers game last night? You know, you mocking answer- her. Oh, yeah. I'm saying, uh, yeah, you should be concentrating on sports. Rather than the fucking deviled eggs. You should be telling me what I want to hear the highlights of this and that and the other thing. But I don't need to be hearing about deviled eggs from my sports center people. But she just tweeted back, thank you. That was Twitter judo. That just got turned back on you. Yeah, I know. See, that's a problem with uh, She's like a fucking Jedi. You can't tell about sarcasm. I know. And I, I have a feeling like, yes, she didn't understand that I was being sarcastic. But either way... I can't respond to anything now that she said thank you. She's polite. I, she's I know. a polite lady. I can't say that. Uh, I was being sarcastic. You know, that, that, will, that will just look weird and stalkerish. So the war's over. So my, my attempt at a Twitter war ended. And good job, I guess, Jamie. You, you, you won. You lost, she lo- you lost both the battle and the war. I one, did. One fell swoop. I did. And the war. I lost to a, a sports center anchor whose true passion is food. You want me to get Not after Not sports. <laughs> Again. 
You want me to get after her? Tell her how much I don't like it. No, no, no. Leave Jamie alone. The ESPN I, I, I don't want anyone harassing this woman. In fact, I'm going to start following Devil her. Devil eggs are fat. I, I, no, don't you dare, Sean. I'll write that. I'm following her now because uh, that's like, you know, you know what? Fine. There. You did it, Jamie Sire. You won the goddamn war. But I'll tell you. It, we should what, book her on the show. In a serious tone, my problem with Sports Center is that they are they have officially decided to take cutesy personalities over. This has been what I've been saying for years. Cutesy personalities over. Can you imagine Charlie Steiner tweeting about deviled eggs? Well, that's what's happened with television all around. Can Literally you, every channel. Dan Patrick, would he ever tweet? Would Chris Berman, who's still there, tweet about deviled eggs? I think he might. Oh, yeah, he might, actually. He does have a food-eating problem. What about Bill He's Walton? a fat so. Have you ever been to a volcano well, when it was erupting? We, Bill Walton's not exactly uh, the perfect test patient, Shano. Oh. He's an acid head. Yes, he would tweet about deviled eggs and LSD and yeah. a Jerry Garcia concert from 1974. It's cutesy. But, I mean, my point is, is it's that... It's I've been saying on this very show that they're taking style over substance. Yeah, that's and television, me, Dave. I'll tell you a perfect example. This cutesy guy that they got for the Jon Stewart show. Oh, Trevor Noah? He, he, had, he made apparently three appearances on The Daily Show. Yeah. Why they give him the gig? Because he's an attractive gentleman. He's a funny guy. He's pretty smart, too, though. How would you know yeah. he's funny? He made three appearances. Oh, you know, he has stand-up. No, he has stand-up. Like, I have never heard of him. Never in my <laughs> life. <laughs> so he's from South Africa. Off. What? He's what? He's from where? From South, South Africa. Africa. Is that where he's from? Yeah. Listen, he, like, I don't know anything about... All I know is he apparently made a lot of anti-Semitic and anti-woman jokes. And again, I go to... The Comedy Central be, better be very careful. John Stewart's a brilliant guy. Are you doing the same thing that Sports Center is doing? You're going with handsome and cutesy you know, John Stewart over pick him. substance. No, I did not read that. In fact, I read a New York Times article that said that John Stewart had no input. You know that uh, Bill Simmons tweeted out when this when after Trevor Noah was announced that he had inside sources saying that they uh, Comedy Central went to Amy Poehler. Louis C.K. Of course. And there was one other person. I can't remember the name. But to, at least two other people. The other Amy. Schumer. Amy Schumer. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Bill yeah. Simmons has his town on lock. See, all those, those three people would have been phenomenal choices, I think. And what? They all said no. This was what I was saying. When people thought that Tina Fey is going to give up a goddamn movie career after coming off of her sitcom career that she created that won every Emmy in the book. She's not going to then work a nine to five job. That's why, you know, remember John Stewart was was not doing anything when he took over for Killborn. The, the Ben Stiller show had ended. Not Ben Stiller. What am I talking about? Did you, John Stewart had a sh another show. He was show on MTV. Yeah, the MTV show, yeah. Yeah, and then that went nowhere. And then he did the, like, remember he did a show where it's like, you write it, we uh, watch it, or you write it. You write it, we we do it or something. And you forgot he was also in half baked. So like yeah, you like scene. you would write oh, letters we? to John Stewart, and then he would like come up with a comedy sketch based on your letter. I think you write it and you watch it, something like that. You know that uh, after he uh, Ben uh, Ben yeah, after John Stewart <laughs> came on, that uh, <laughs> Kilborn sued them to get the um, the five questions bit. Oh, did he really? On his other show. And I think he won, didn't he? Because did he do it? No, he didn't. Because you know who cares? I know it was stupid. <laughs> It was it was dumb, um, but it, already people are saying uh, Eastside Dave is ripping Jamie a new one. I'm not ripping her a new one. I'm following her. Okay, uh -huh. he's admitting defeat, people. But what I'm saying is, be careful. Comedy Central made the mistake over. Let's get this handsome guy rather than you Louis C.K. I would have offered Louis C.K. ten million dollars. Give him an offer he can't yeah, refuse. You know how much John Stewart was making a year? I don't. Thirty million dollars. So then give that to Louis C.K. If you wanted to a star, you gotta pay fucking star money. Why would he leave as, that job? As a result, I have put us up. As the a, rumor is he wants to do stand up again. Oh. Contingent God. on the fact that I want to remain at ninety five nine The Rat yeah. in New Jersey, yeah. W R A T ninety five nine FM. I want to uh, put in the, a new uh, idea, the Daily Davy Max Sports Program Show, which will feature all of us. I expect to get paid fifteen to twenty million dollars. Pepper, you take yourself 500 G's. Sean O. fucking kidding me. 700 G's. All right. Roy, you're not in this room. Two million. Eric Z, you're going to be our first cameraman. Ten million for you. Why is life shit in my mouth? Flutzy. <laughs> you, Why? $30 an hour. Contingent on you Finally, showing up. Someone <laughs> taking less money than me. Yeah. So the uh, Daily Davy Max Sports Program show. And then we can do a one after called the Nightly Davy Max Sports Program. Right, <laughs> yeah. Something with the, uh, Colbert in the title. We could do that as well. So we're offering our services to uh, Comedy Central. Basically, we're gonna we're trying to bail Comedy Central out of this 
tough uh, pickle that they're in. So I, I think that someone owes us a thank you. Comedy Central, you're welcome. Woo! Okay? Once again, we've rescued the world. We've shed light on the, the, the ills of the world, and we've rescued the world out of darkness. That's what we are here for. We bring the light, baby. Yeah. yeah. What? What? <laughs> Yo. Mincy's going to my head. Oh, those mints Too are many laced. mints. <laughs> I've had so many mints. I feel like Captain Mint over here. You know what I'm talking Whoa. about? Whoa. I'm like Mr. Mint. You're a mintosaurus. Right? You're like a mint dinosaur. I got an idea. How about that fucking guy? Get bad Dennis Miller impression back. What he? I mean, seriously, what, what's Dennis Miller doing these days? I think he's doing uh, Fox News. Hey, everybody, I'm back, dogs. It's <laughs> bad Dennis Miller impression. It's like a goddamn Rush Limbaugh with a Hercules over here. Scoochie, how the heck are you? Your name ain't Pepper anymore. It's Scoochie. I've, it's weird that I'm on this show now, but you're how's it you're, going, with, you're my right hand man, Scoochie Patochi. <laughs> right over here, you're like vernaculars mixed with the goddamn Charlie Brown cartoon. Vernaculars I see wasn't goddamn, a person. I see stink lines over here on Scoochie. Hey, kiss my ass. How many times a week do you shower, Scoochie? Over and under is about three. Bother the tootie booty. I'm gonna walk off this show. I don't like. Go that. ahead, Scoochie. Don't recoup your. Six hundred million dollars, or six hundred thousand, baby. I'll, I'll take the first check. Take your first check, baby. Bad Dennis Miller impression here, baby. Saying son of a you're invited to the show. I'll hobble the two words, dude. <laughs> oh my God, yeah, stroke. It's kind of oh. like a different strokes meets a goddamn particulars over here. <laughs> goddamn. And we got a goddamn flutist in the house, and she's like, uh, hey, Scoochie, stop hitting on me. And Scoochie's like, never once do I hit on flutists. I ain't no medieval jester over here, you fucking bitch. Boo-boo. I'm glad I walked off this show before that happened. <laughs> anyway, bad Dennis Miller impression signing off. Good night, fuckwads. There he goes. Yeah. That's his sign-off, Pepper. Do you know that? So it gets bleeped every night? <laughs> Or dumped out of. <laughs> well, I mean, look, do, do, Dennis Miller, you gotta stop dropping that F. Do they have to? That's the weird thing is, I don't think Comedy Central technically has to with I, ever bleep. They, they, uh, F, 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 where they have to bleep? They air if they air stuff late enough, it's uncensored. Like if it starts at midnight or whatever. Oh, midnight. So John Stewart or one because I, I I know yeah he could use the F bomb, but they would always bleep it. Uh, so maybe it's a and the show is eleven o'clock Eastern Standard. Yeah, it's because of the uh, the sponsors. It's a cable network. They can do whatever the fuck they want. They oh, is that the case? Yeah, because he usually drops at least two or three N bombs a night. No, stop it. When's the last time you watched a show, dude? Please. You got to go to sleep early, don't you? Yeah, I do. You're right. <laughs> You're right. I do. I don't. I don't watch Daily Show as much as uh you know people would think. I like to. Uh, I get into my. Own. What I'm doing right now, Pepper. You'll love this. Oh. I'm. I'm back into the X Files, dog. Well, it's coming Whoa, back. What? It's Every coming night back. on Chiller TV, Davey Mack is tuning in at 7 p.m. You can just watch whatever you want on Netflix. Oh, you can do that now. <laughs> yeah. Is, is it like Periscope? It's What's like this it's Netflix? Like Periscope, but it's attached to your television. Oh, really? Yeah. So you're wait a second. Yeah. What, is this $8 like? Eight dollars a month. You can do yeah. it. Like, is it like uh, like on demand? Something like that. You like can you, demand to watch something, what? and then it comes on your television the internet is fucking whack yo i didn't know this no you do i like to give it to me you know i like to sit there through commercials and i like to sit there like i'm watching tv in the 1990s i, can get, I can get that because i like <laughs> to know about products yeah i like to know about like the p and m&ms what they're up to yeah. you know they're talking oh. the red one the yellow one <laughs> hey i hope the redhead girl doesn't need us tonight and the other one's like all stupid. Like, yeah, the other oh, one's like, what's going on? <gasps> I'm fucking retarded. I got a peanut I'm like brain. Eli Manning. I made a candy. <laughs> and yet I don't suspect I'm ever going to be eaten. Peyton, are you made of candy too? I have a candy Dude. shell all over yeah. my body. The Mannings. Manning and Manning. M&M candies, baby. <laughs> Dude. Why is it someone had them do an M&M show? <laughs> We're the stupidest candies in the world. <laughs> You're made of chocolate. <laughs> Don't bite me. At least voice this over. This human's bite me in the face. Hey, that M&M. Yeah. That green m is pretty hot over oh, there. Let's that's run like, train on her. Yeah, run the dick. Run the, the man in a man in candy dick, dick on her. Peter, dick. We're dick little Peter. Can, we're little dumb candies. We're M&Ms. delicious. Yeah. Fucky fuck. Signing off, fuck was. Suck my penis. That's our slogan. We're ripping off Bad Dance Miller impression. <laughs> Love that show. Good night, fuckhead. <laughs>
Duh. 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 By the way, my favorite quarterback in the NFL is Eli Manning, by the way. I just want to go on the record. I don't know why I do that impression of him. We should I feel book guilty. him on the show. Yeah. I know. Eli, I love I you. I think that's a good idea. I have like three number 10 jerseys. I got a white one. I got a blue one, and I got a red, someone's fucking patriotic, red, white, and blue, sting me, shave. <laughs> throwback. It's red, a throwback. white, and blue. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> well, it's 20 minutes into the show. We haven't really talked about sports. All right. No, the sports center <laughs> counts. That counts. No, it doesn't. The Notre Dame Kentucky game Woo. reminded me of the World Series game seven of this prior year between the Kansas City Royals and the San Francisco Giants. My fucking heart was pulling for those Kansas City Royals. I see Alex Gordon hit one in the gap. I go, just fuck it. Go for the inside park home run. Just yes, do it. He would have been thrown out by 90 feet. Yeah, it was no Even chance. though the base paths are 90 feet long, that's how long he would have been thrown out by. I didn't care. I wanted him to go for the inside the parker. Notre Dame came within a fucking heartbeat of beating the Kentucky Wildcats and ruining their undefeated season. Final score is 68-66 with Notre Dame getting a three off at the end. And if the kid wasn't challenged by two seven-footers, the thing was straight as an arrow, but you have two seven-footers trying to block the shot. He did what a lot of people do, puts a little too much arc on it, Air ball, ball goes long. Air ball. Long. You know what that means? But my God. A bunch of Catholic losers. I know. I know. And, 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 and also, I, know what it also means? I was so kid, depressed. Tucky's beatable. Well, here's the thing. I don't think so now. You think they got that that game out of their they system? Got, that's right. They just got nervous. They just got fucked up. And now it's like, all right, you know what? We can't have this. Sh we cannot toy around anymore like the fucking uh, killer whale that toys around with the goddamn seal over here in Vernaculis. Uh, we can't toy around with fuckers. We're going to blow them the shit out of the gym and watch for the Kentucky to massacre Wisconsin and then get to the finals against either Duke or Michigan State My and fucking annihilate them. Are going all Actually, the way. I do root for... The weird thing is, even though I'm a huge Notre Dame fan in football, I root for Coach K because I like him. And I like him and his weird like, little Hitler haircut. I like the I don't like Hitler. I'm against Hitler. I'm, I'm no Trevor Noah. Love his hair. Anti, I'm not... Yeah, I'm pro... But uh, his hair uh, it always stays in place. Yeah. It's very shiny and black. I like I like Duke's rich scumbag uh, yeah. student body. I know. I like that too. It reminds me of the high school I went to, they're Christian Brothers the Academy. They're just the bad guys. Yeah, we jerks. suck. We really suck. <laughs> like like my high school is the high school version of Duke. It was like you know a dead poet society type school. A lot of privileged, very wealthy, like kids who live next door to to. Uh, uh, you know, uh, John Stewart and Brian Williams. That's how they're friends, well by the way. Do. They both live next to each other in Milltown. Those kids came to CBA, Christian Brothers Academy. So, I mean... So we, did uh, did the newsman's the daughter go to that school? Then? No, it's all, oh, it's it's all, all male. It's all, it's all male. Yeah. But we're looked at as you the bad she, guys. You think she blew some of the kids from that school? Please, Pepper. I'm just asking. I like Brian Williams. Um... So He's we're, a liar. That's why I like Duke, but you're absolutely right. Duke is obnoxious. The jumping up and down. Oh, wow. Duke got to the Final Four. Big surprise. You I know. know. It's, a, it's, anti, uh, it's anti this whole well, tournament because everyone cares about the underdog. You know? It's historic because Coach K has tied now John Wooden with all-time Final Four appearances. And John Wooden, quite frankly, coached when it was a lot easier. Field wasn't 64, it was 32, and the first round they would start on UCLA's home court. So they win one home game, and they're in the Sweet 16. Yeah, John Wooden's a hack. He was he had it easy. He sucked, right? Shout out B. Yeah, what a dick. Fuck Wooden. <laughs> fuck Lombardi. Yeah, fuck, fuck Belichick. Fuck them all. Fuck John McGraw. Mm. Fuck Tory. And fuck Red Auerbach, right? Yeah. All the best coaches in the world. Especially Screw Auerbach. Bear Bryant while we're at it. Mm -hmm. And Saban. And Lovey Smith. And uh, the guy from Ohio State. Oh, definitely What's his name? Definitely Heart Attack Man. Definitely Urban Saban. Meyer. Saban's the worst piece of shit. Right. Saban. But he's not even talking. No, here's my... Uh, let, let, let me add amend your point, Pepper. Okay. Since I agree with you for a solid 15 years that Duke was the bad guys, since the Calipari has taken over Kentucky, I think he's established them as the Darth Vader of college basketball in a weird way. I think if it was Kentucky versus Duke... America would be on the side of Duke. They would see them as like the little underdog okay, school. Okay, so to put this in Star Wars terms. Yeah. <laughs> Duke is the emperor. 
Was. And, Kalap- and Kalapari is Darth Vader. Was. I say flip flop it. Because let's go back. Kentucky's won historically way more championships from the 40s and 50s than Duke. Duke has only won their championships under Coach K. So historically, oh. Kentucky's more like the Yankees than Duke is. All right, and you're okay. right. Under Coach K from the early 90s to the mid 2000s, I would say Duke are friendly the bad guys. My point is. Calipari has now taken back that we're the Yankees of college basketball. And I think that people don't like that. They don't like the Yankees. They want the fucking favorite to go down. And in a weird way, I think people would be firmly on the side of Duke over Kentucky. I am. I'm, would would I'm you a be? Duke guy. Sean O'Barry, Kentucky versus Duke. Who'd you root for? Duke, all the way. And finally, Louisa Schaefer. Ah, Duke. Duke. So it's unanimous. It doesn't seem like Flutzy really (laughs) A true true Schaefer answer. Well, if it's not about the Bronx, (laughs) and it's not about Yankee baseball, Flutzy don't care. Don't you worry. We'll get to baseball talk. Because you know what? Opening day is next Monday. Can you believe that? It came right around the corner. We're going. We're going. We're going. We're going to the game. We are going to the fucking Yankees. Yankees open up at home. It's going to be weird without you. I know. They're opening up at home. I think it's going to be better without you. They're playing the Blue Jays. And no Derek Jeter. No Mariano. Finally. No Jorge. Get those bums out of there. No Andy Pettit. Okay. No Paul O'Neill. Got it. No Don Mattingly. Bernie. No Chris Chambliss. No Roger Maris. No Joe DiMaggio. Joe No Joe? Babe Ruth. What? <laughs> babe? I mean, that's true, though. You know, I can name oh. the Yankees the retired numbers from 1 to 10 like that. Yeah, I know. 1, Billy Martin. 3, Babe did, Ruth. 4, Lou Gehrig. 5, this. Joe DiMaggio. 6, not retired. 2, not retired. 7, Mickey Mantle. 8, twice, Yogi Berra and Bill Dickey. 9, Roger Maris. 10, Phil Rizzuto. Thank you. Sting that. Hey, uh, I went to a game last year with my other podcasting partner, Bronx Johnny. Yes, what did he have he, to say? He, no, he got, me so, he got us some uh, like reduced... So, did he get us some yayo? Redu- right, Channel B? Yeah. You know reduced that. price tickets. And how? How to get them reduced? Was he selling the yayo yeah. on the corner? I know how your man works. I know how he operates. And we had to go. There was a hot dog line for reduced price ticket holders where the hot dog only cost a dollar. Is, that, is it? <laughs> Is the hot dog lo- uh, code for cocaine? No, actually. Was it a Coke dogs. line? Oh, actual it was actual hot, hot dogs? dogs? Yeah. Did you eat one? Yeah, I had okay, how many? Two. How many? Two. What does Chris Pepper Stanley eat at a regular Yankees game? I, I'll have a couple hot dogs. Just or, two? And, and maybe a pretzel. Yeah, I like the pretzels. Oh, the pretzel Yankee sauce? Stadium pretzels are the most delicious oh, things. Sauce. I like to change it up. Okay. Not do it. I don't always get the hot dog. I get a sausage. I get Italian sausage. Yeah, I'll have that when I'm drunk. A couple more bucks. That's what I've got. But trust me, you got you got fucking peppers on that shit. Yeah. Like like you, you put a lot of use on yeah, it. I just, I just put jump, a lot. Of, put a lot. I of yourself jump into on the it. bun, yeah. or just jerk off into it, and then save yourself like a lot of thing. Yeah. You put a lot of peppers on that Italian sausage. Forget about it. If you're about talking about it, my own yo. semen, yeah. Oh my god. I'm like, god. wow, I taste great. I'm telling you. Yankee Stadium uh, Italian sausage, very underrated. Everyone always wants to uh, hot dog this, hot dog that. Go for the sausage. But also, no, it's great. The uh, uh, unlimited bucks uh, thing of popcorn. You just order one thing of popcorn. Yeah, I like that. It. I'm very old school with um, what I choose. I like the hot dogs, and I like. I actually like get, eating Cracker Jacks at baseball games. I hate Cracker Jacks. Can't get fucking more <laughs> old school <laughs> in the day, man. I'm definitely with Pepper. I, I hate a Cracker Jack. You don't like Cracker Jacks? I don't even know what the I fuck hate they crackers are. Crackers too. It's like that. shitty popcorn. Here's the thing: at the baseball stadium, Cracker Jacks taste great. Yeah. But you're right. It's in everyday crazy. life, you're like, what the fuck am I eating here? <laughs> this is disgusting. Why? What are these popcorns doing with it's fucking car- ca- caramel all over them? Cardboard popcorn. What the fuck? Actually, one time I was at a game and um, it was like a downpour, but they did. It wasn't a rain out, so it was just like a steady like rain. But they were still playing the game, and uh, I was just sitting in a seat out in the middle of the rain. I was like, hey, seat, whatever. And then I found a box of of uh, <laughs> okay of cracker jacks and then you ate found? them. You found? You found? <laughs> and then what happened? I ate them. <laughs> 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 That's a fucking it was savage sealed. mood. It was How sealed. jacked out your mind was that? I was drunk. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Like, were they sealed? Be honest. It was sealed, yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's like gold. What was yeah. the prize? That's you like get a tattoo? Jackpot. I can't remember. Yeah, dude. what'd you get? You get a little whistle? You sat there with a little fucking toy. Pepper Stanley, a little fucking toy airplane. Or yeah, a little whistle. Woo! Go Sit. ahead, Lee. How? Shoto, how much of an actually depressing story was that? <laughs> Staying by himself yeah, with rain. the Cracker in Jacks the in the raid. Drunk. <laughs> he fucking is like a Charlie Brown character over here. Fucking Bad Dad Miller was right about you. No, he wasn't. That's the saddest goddamn 
fucking Lucy could take away that football once again yeah. on that idiotic blockhead, yeah. and then his life would be more optimistic than yours. Yeah, Sitting in the rain by yourself eating Cracker Jacks. That uh, was yeah, so... Yankee game, though. Yeah, so you pay top <laughs> dollar to do that. <laughs> Actually, uh, I used to give uh, Pepper tickets. Not once did I get a fucking thank you. Nope. Not once. That was expected. Could you hear? Could you? Could you give me a thank you now? No, I'm not gonna give you a thank you. Jesus Christ! I don't Christ. Even think he's ever said thank you. My family had season tickets for many, 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 many years, oh, wow. and sometimes they would give you know they would they would give me uh, the, the seats. Sometimes I couldn't go, so I just give away the fucking seats. Give them to Pepper all the time and his little fucking partner Bronx Johnny. And did I give a thank you there. from once? No, actually, Bronx Johnny one time did, did say thank you, Ball. <laughs> And that, Don't I you make fun of him. I appreciated that. Thank you, Bolf. I'm like, what the fuck is a boff? Sounds like a goddamn creature that should live in Smurfville, for fuck's sake. Hello, sting that, Luis. Jesus Christ, you're so slow on this. Stings. Roy Schaefer's all over that shit. <laughs> all right, that one you were on top of. All right, now you're getting better. Yeah. See, basically just play over top of me, and then, yeah. that's what I, Now I'm realizing that's what Roy does. Um <laughs> He doesn't care. He's just like... Wait, Shano, I got you lots of uh, videos. Great. Oh, you did? Do you see the Francesa video? Oh, no, I didn't see it. All right. We'll, we'll pull that up. We'll give you a second. Uh, I got to give a shout out to my man, Frank Pepper. Why? Because I know you love indie uh, sports cars, uh, you know, and everything like that. Oh, hell yeah. And Frank has the... Uh, um, indie sports uh, car podcast on iTunes and at ISCP podcast on Twitter. Indie sports car podcast. We should have him on. Frank is killing it. Okay. This one? If when we talk about indie sports car, Frank is going to be our number one guest. So a shout out to Frankie Boy, <laughs> indie Frank. sports car podcast on F Dog. Yeah. Here you go, Sean LB. It? Here's Mike Francesa, New York sports yes, talk James. show host. Yes, hello? Yes, James. Yes, hi, how are you doing? Uh, cool. Mike, I wanted to know, um, what is your opinion on the 1 in 21? The what? The 1 in 21. What is 1 in 21? I don't know what that is. I'm talking about Brock Lesnar. <laughs> the WrestleMania. The WrestleMania oh. is the Sunday. Oh. Oh. Well, uh, so you waited on a, on, a, on the line all that time to, to <laughs> know you're going to ask me a wrestling question that I'm not going to answer? Is that... Yeah, of course. I mean, you got... James, yeah, of listen. course. What do you I do? I like that guy. Are you a student? Yeah. What do you do? No, no, no. I work what do you do? School, man. Are you work in a school? <laughs> Why is he yeah. keeping him? I don't you, know. What do you do? He keeps making mistakes. I do a little security. Well, listen. Is that Brock? You got to spend your time better than the way he had no the comeback. The guy was like, "You I work in security." Question that you know I'm not going to answer. Okay, you, you just Keep know I'm not going to answer. And, and oh, what, what was he trying to say? Now Mark? here, pause it for uh, a second. Brock Lesnar. Pause it for a second. Um. Mike, again, perpetuates the prank call by then asking his producer on the air what the fuck was he talking That's about. Great. And listen to the producer, yeah. who, in my opinion, was feeling a little randy that day. Because right, the guy clearly is sort of... I feel like he's sort of making fun of Mike Fran Francesa. I feel like the right, old man's being made fun of. Right, listen to the producer. Undertaker's streak at 21-1. and one. He said 1-21. and 21. Okay, so let me get this straight. The... <laughs> We're talking about what, WWE or F? Which one? WWE. Same thing. Oh, it's the same thing? Mm. They changed the names for legal reasons. Oh, they did. Okay. So now it's all one? There's multiple isn't wrestling, there more than one, one. Isn't there one, more than one faction of wrestling? <laughs> there are. Is this McMahon? Move on. Yes. Okay, so. No. Uh, Go to Jerome the from Manhattan. now is named... John Cena is the big guy. Well, who is he just talking about? He's referring to Brock Lesnar. Is he a big guy? <laughs> yes. And he's fighting who? He's fighting Roman Reigns in the main event. <laughs> and where's the main event? It's at Levi Stadium. <laughs> right. And uh, what's with the question? How many people will be there? Close to a hundred thousand. <laughs> he starts I laughing. Them. I mean, listen. I know I could care less. Wow, but wrestling! You got to give him credit for making money. He basically, I mean, he's no, calling the wrestling fans people retarded. Will be yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, he, he and it's on. T it's on pay per view, right? But it's on the WWE Network as well. Right. <laughs> you, but you can buy... I like the producer the guy. ...www.com, uh, WWE, on the air. WWE, whatever it is, I know. Com, and buy a subscription, right? Correct, yeah. Okay. He so usually does a talk back with the producer. What, nine, ten bucks, bucks a month? It's weird. It's ten bucks a month, yeah. So they probably have at least a million of you crazies. About 1.2. 1.2. 1. 2. 1. 2. Yeah, because the producer's a wrestling a fan. That's $120 <laughs> times 1.2 million. God bless them. And then they can Mike, fill it's a It's been around for 30 seats. fucking years. He doesn't know. It, it, the the guy it had Hulk Hogan and Mr. What's T, for Christ's sake. What's it cost to sit ringside? I'd say 5000 
face? No, probably, you know, you get on secondary. Well, what's right. like a thousand dollars? Shut up, thank you. you. No, keep this on. He's gonna, yeah, I know. <laughs> it's no, like 60 minutes over there. there. I did. He Press just keeps asking 29, questions. Yeah. I paid for your tickets? I, I, wherever you got it from. Oh, I got your tickets as well. Yeah, they Apparently gave, Mike they, bought tickets for his producer. to me is what happened, yeah, but I don't even know what they cost. What they cost? I think face was like 120. Okay. So, um, <laughs> not 100,000 people? Clo- yeah. What the hell? Football is he lost his mind? They filled so up. you're saying Kane <laughs> used to wear a mask. Now, the <laughs> thing about it is, and, and is, then before is, that, he was a dentist. Is, is Coco Beware still <laughs> in the ring? And does Coco Beware still, is his finishing move still the ghetto blaster? <laughs> Scorchy? Was that his actual yeah. finisher? Yeah. Drop kick from the top ropes they called call- the ghetto blaster. That is not line up with Coco Beware. No, actually, now that you bring it up, it seems a little bit bigger right, than right. Yeah, the girl blaster, Coco Beware. Well, there was a tag. It's Hell Bill Jilly. It's Hell Billy Jim still alive, He's Peppa. Long dead. Long dead. Scoochie. Am I uh, Pepper or am I Scoochie? <laughs> you're both. You're Scoochie Peppers. Oh. Hey, how about King Kong Bundy? He's still around. Oh, long dead. No? You're old school. Is he huh? gone? Yeah, he's gone. Oh, the, the adorable one, Adrian Adonis. He's still going around? Possibly. Why did he call himself the adorable one when he's about 350 pounds? Well, he, he's a fat, blonde he, guy. He was cute in the face, you know? He wasn't, though. He was <laughs> very ugly. Was it like a sarcasm? Was it like irony? If it was irony, it's very sad. Because he was very overweight and very ugly, but he went by adorable Adrian Adonis. Ravishing Rick Rue, he's still around? No. No? Dead. Randy Savage, he Gone. still do something? Heart attack, dead. Ricky Dragon Steamboat, he's, he's still right. He's, he's doing around. a good job yeah, still. Oh, very good. George Yamble yeah, still, he's still eating turnbuckles left and right. I think so. You, you'd, you'd think they'd feed him. How come they don't feed the guy? He's got to eat the ring. Well, I think he's uh, special needs. Just keep him in the basement. Give him a snack between matches, for Christ's sakes. What about the fucking... What about the warrior with the face paint and the kiss and he the died, thing and the body di- slam? He died last year. He's dead. Right around this time. Jesus Christ. I said Macho Man already. What about Slick? Are, are they, is he around the manager? <laughs> He's still alive, yeah. How about Mr. Fuji? <laughs> right, an, an Asian stereotype for the manager. How about that? Jake is the brain still with us? Yes. Jake Roberts? Yes. Crackhead, right? He used to be You ever see now. that? Yeah, I did. He's sober? Yeah. Snake is sober? Yeah. I see Beyond the Mat. He didn't look sober to me. You see Beyond the Mat? Scoochie Pep? That was a long time ago, I Remember dude. the part in the motel room? Yeah. He's like, sometimes two girls, sometimes three girls, sometimes you just want to watch. Sometimes. I don't know what he was talking three about. Three girls with toys. Three, three girls with toys. And then you go over to your wife and you can't have sex. Yeah, right. Then, then there ain't no way. He goes, you can't get it up. Ain't no way. Now, excuse me. Is that I, it? Excuse me as I smoke this crack room. Yeah. How about him? Is he still around with he us? Is. He's sober. How about the Bronx Bombers? He's still around. You mean the Brooklyn Brawler? <laughs> Whatever he went yeah, by. Yeah, he's still around. <laughs> that guy. I think Rolling Stones the Italian guy. You know that guy, that jobber, still around? Yeah, he's... Uh, What's he a jobber? It's someone who someone loses. Someone who does jobs? No, someone who loses all like the time. A, like a mailman? Like a school teacher, no, right? No, no, no. Like a person a, who has a job. A no-name wrestler who loses every right. match. But then they have a secondary job. Possibly. Like they, they, they wrestle, and then they're like a milkman or something. Is that it? A job? Jobber? No, 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 no. Just wrestling. What's that mean? Just wrestling. What's a cage match? What is that? It's when you wrestle in a cage. Royal Rumble. What does that mean? <laughs> it's a bunch of guys fighting what is each that? other in one ring. TLC. I'm hearing a lot about TLC match. What's this? Wow, you're really getting up to date. Tables, ladders, and chairs. What? Yeah. Woo! What are you talking about? Tables, ladders, chairs. No disqualifications. Okay, see, this idea that it was supposed to be a sport. And you could add a table. Can you imagine this idea? Can you imagine if Tom Brady was trying to play in the Super Bowl and he had to throw the ball over a table or a ladder or a chair? This idea, TLC, Peppa, that's what it's called? Yeah, TLC. Jeez. For God. When's dog coming back? I got a lot of time to fill, apparently. The dog is uh, I got I got to ask my producer for 45 minutes follow-up questions to a prank call. Oh, was you like a mint? Sure. <laughs> Mike and the mint dog. <laughs> <laughs> Officially cracking herself. <laughs> and no one else. Yeah, no one. <laughs> it's, it's only matters if we laugh. Hey, that's right. So wait a second. So you're telling me 
that we're supposed this idea that George Steele <laughs> comes out and it has a purple tongue or a green tongue and eats the turnbuckle. This idea that he's an actual athlete. You're gonna tell me this is credible? That's not even, that's not even nutritious. <laughs> I'm eating a, eat a turnbuckle. Okay. What's in okay. A, what's in a gotta let this wrestling thing drop, bro. How about the Hardy Brothers? Are they still together? <laughs> no, they're not. Uh, I, don't, I don't know, actually. Does the one still have a drug problem? Probably. Yeah. Jeff? Yeah. Jeff Hardy had the Jeff drug Hardy, problem, right? Yeah. Yeah. Jeff. yeah, I forgot the other one's name. British Jerry. The British Bulldogs. Are they still around? No. The Hart Foundation? Dead. Is Jimmy Hart still managing with the megaphone and the colorful jackets? <laughs> I haven't seen him in a while. <laughs> the Master of the South also went by the name Colonel. He's got more nicknames than Scoochie Pepper Hicks over here. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Scooch. <right? laughs> Scooch. Scooch! Oh. Hey, what, 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 what are you doing on Monday? <laughs> Go to Yankees game, we'll sit in the rain? Yeah, me and like you. Like a couple homeless fucking Vietnam veterans. <laughs> <laughs> you find a hot dog under a seat. They gave us these great <laughs> Maybe, maybe we'll tickets. find more snacks <laughs> under our chairs that have been rained on. You fucking penniless Astoria Queens bastard. Listen, you Jersey's fucking kiss my ass. <laughs> like you ever Jesus done bad Christ. things in your life, huh? Oh, I've done a lot. <laughs> yeah. I'll break character. I've eaten everything, dog. I know. I used to eat love the pussy, the ass. <laughs> I eat them all, yo. Smoke enough shirt. Smoke enough shirt. <laughs> Speaking of which, the crazy white Yankee boy here. day. <laughs> crazy white boy day. I'm like Gary Oldman. Aren't you white? Yeah. I don't understand this well, scene. I think he was mixed. Yeah, well, he says he's half. Uh, was patchy, Drexel? But I suspect he's lying. Is that what uh, Drexel was supposed to be? Yeah. That character was fucking through the roof awesome. Yeah. They should have done a spinoff, the fucking Drexel show. They're doing a prequel. James <laughs> Franco's going to be the young Drexel. Are you kidding? No. This is a joke, right? No, it's not. Look it up online. I'm not. James Franco's going to be a young Drexel. Young Drexel, I'm sure. Who's going to direct it? Quentin Tarantino. All right. <laughs> See, now I know you're lying. <laughs> you had me for a heartbeat. <laughs> Serotonin's gone. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Thank you, baby. Good to keep it together. He's good, man. I love it. I love her. I'm my, I'm my, the only debate that I've got going on in the old Dave head is my son, Stanley Mac, is a huge uh, Indiana Jones fan, just like Star Wars. I've brainwashed my children thoroughly into uh, liking the films that I like. And uh, good. he would freak out about this comic book. However, this thing is genuinely from 1981 and is in mint condition, as you can see. Yeah. Do I risk it? Because Stanley Mac might just fucking rip it in the first 1.8 seconds. Comic dollars. Book. You give it to Eight dollars. I know, but this thing is in mint condition. Serotonin's yeah, gone. Mint. Went out of his way Eight to bucks. UPS it over here to Skinny Man. It wasn't UPS. I don't know if I want to do it. I, I it? might just tell Stanley, look at like Spinal Tap. Look at it. You can't touch it though. You can't. No, you've seen en enough of that one. Thank have you, you. Have you shown him Spinal Tap yet? These go to eleven. No, that's a little too sultry, Pepper. There's, there's. Have you shown him Pulp Fiction? There's, yet? there's a lick my love pump. I don't know if I want a five and six year old <laughs> to be hearing. Oh What's the name of that song? Lick my love pump. It's got a lot so of meaning. It's a beautiful. It's, it's a combination of Beethoven and Mark. It's like Bach. Yeah. Right. Remember. Uh, that's one of the best movies of all time, isn't it? Spinal Tap, Sean B. Yeah, Chris. You're you're best. you're you're, in, you're in a, a musician. Was that was that how you and Roy like you know when you guys uh, go out there on the road? Is that how you guys act? It's almost exactly the same. Yeah. Yeah, I would think so. I would think it was very realistic. I heard that the guy it was based on a conglomerate of bands, including Van Halen. And when Van Halen actually saw it, they were just like pulling the fucking you know chairs over their eyes. Didn't um, when they were asking about M and M's, that was from either Van Halen or Aerosmith. I think or it was Van Halen. You know, yeah, yeah, well, demanded that their M and M's be separated. Well, well, I heard that was a, a a clause in their rider in order to make sure that people were actually reading their rider. It wasn't really like they cared about the M&Ms. It was just to make sure that someone was actually fucking reading it. Who were they to fucking... As long as you got your Jack Daniels and your piles and piles of Tony Montana cocaine yeah. in your fucking dressing room, what does Van Halen care? Uh, if they get a sandwich or uh, they, it's they, a like, mayonnaise or not. Fresh celery. No, but who are they to double check the fucking writer, goddamn guy? Well, yeah, you're getting paid to do what the fuck you do. <laughs> Jesus. Sean O'Barry's a hard-ass businessman. Do you know that about him, Scooch? I didn't know it, Scoo Dog. <laughs> 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 I didn't know that, Sean O'B. No one ever asks how you're doing. How it's, are it's you? Fine. No, I'm fine. It's, it's no one cares how you are. Wow! Oh shit! Holy shit! Flutes. Out of left field. I was, I was inspired by the Rock when I he got, comes. I don't back. care <laughs> what you're who you were inspired by. Yeah, just keep talking. Keep talking. No, I don't, don't take what? it out on the show. What? Oh, oh, he just he just he just demiked her. What happened? No, Sean will be. What? You gonna take it from this guy? Huh? You, you gonna take that from <laughs> What's the world coming to? Keep her here, all right? Bam, bam, bam. Keep her here. <laughs> <laughs> we can't do more good fellas. Eric Zeke, um, by the way, 
compiled the Goodfellas segments from last week's show. Oh. So uh, that will be released on video, eastsidedavecountry.com, uh, the Goodfellas segment. Is that on Periscope? Not on Periscope. Oh. No. Now, baseball is right around the corner. Oh. Yes, it well, is. I can't wait. And I know, I know, you're all excited. It's the one sport you know, fucking Bronx head <laughs> over there. Because the Yankees play in your goddamn backyard. <laughs> Actually, I was going to ask you Actually, a, a le legitimate sports question. Yes. Um, I don't know if you know this, but, uh, well, well, to set it up, I love the elevators here at Skinny Man Studios. Old school. Because you Art get Deco. lots of little factoids in oh, the, in the computer. Elevator news, yeah. There's a computer screen, and they give you, last week I learned that Forbes estimated the Yankees are worth $3.5 billion. That makes sense. So if I'm the Steinbrenners, I don't sell that team with, uh, lower than four. Four billion, is, is, and I think that's what they're gearing up for, is to sell that team. They don't want, they don't want a part of the business. That will be sad. Today I learned on my ride up that the most expensive golf course in America is going to be opening up very, very shortly. And guess where? The Bronx. Right in the Bronx. Louisa you know Schaefer. Do you know what part? It's, B it's Trump. It's his uh, organization. Mm -hmm. I don't know where. It didn't tell me on the little elevator news. Cool. did not tell me where. To play one round, $215. Let's go. What? Yeah. That's now, you, was... you come back to Davy Max, fucking neck of the woods. Bel Air Golf Course, right on Allaire Road, dogsy. You get a whole 18 holes, $16.95, <laughs> bro. What's, wait, we'll throw in five extra bucks for your own golf cart, what, dude. What's around? What's, what's around? Is that a whole 18? 18 holes. Oh, okay, okay. 18 holes. You can play half a round, which is nine holes. Some people do. Nine holes. The, the, the older people, the uh, 80s and ups, like the nine hole experience. Can I bring a cooler yeah, beer in with me? Sure things. you can, oh, Bel Air. Yeah? You oh, can yeah? do whatever. Oh, my God. You, you slice one in Bel Air Golf Course? Mm. You see uh, old fucking Natty Ice cans. You see used condoms. Awesome. You see like a bloody uh, shiv or whatever. Bad. Yeah, I, I all kind of shit goes I, on. Can you key bumps on the green? You can Ooh. do whatever the fuck you want, Bel Air, baby. By the way, I, I don't speak for Bel Air. I'm not an actual rep. But uh, I would imagine... I'm going to do a key bump right now. Screw it. Do it. Yeah. Can I periscope it? No. <laughs> Once I put it on periscope, it's out. The fucking world's got it. You know what I'm saying? I guess. I just learned about it. Yo, you the man, baby. Thanks. <laughs> now. Thanks, dude. Uh, baseball's <laughs> back. Here's some of the story. Have you, did you know what's going on with the Chicago Cubs and Chris Bryant? Are you familiar with this story at no, all? No, tell me. Okay. They have a kid who, uh, in AAA last year, or in the minors, I don't know if it was AAA, AA, but whatever, in the minors, only hit 343 home runs. He comes to spring training. He's hitting 470 with nine home runs. Holy shit. Clearly the best player on the team. The Cubs can. If they sit him, if they don't give him an opening day roster spot, they push back a year of eligibility on his free agency, okay? Like, he'll, in other words, he'll be eligible for in 2020 or 21 for free agency. They can push that back a year if they sit him for the first nine games, and they're doing it. Yeah. They sent him down to the minors. Not, so everyone, like the Players Association, Scott Boris, who reps him, are yeah. like, this is such fucking bullshit. No. This is kid it? is Mickey Mantle. That's brilliant. And you're sitting him down for nine fucking games yeah. when he has clearly outperformed everyone, not just on the Cubs, every major leaguer in spring training yeah, this year. They're thinking He's hitting 470. They're thinking long term, dude. It's the yeah. Cubs. They're not, they're not going to do anything this year, so have the kid ready for next year. Well, fuck. And nine games. It's a 162 game season. Yeah, exactly. It's nothing. Now, it's nothing. you say that. It's just Every smart. goddamn year, there's a pennant race. What if this year, in the NL Central, the Cardinals are good every fucking year? What if it's coming down to the Cardinals and the Cubs at the end, which you could very well see? And the Cubs are down a half a game going into game 162. Would you feel good then that you sat this kid for fucking nine games? And the kid, well, the starting eight, the, a rookie in those nine games ain't guaranteeing you a win. This is their back to the future year, but may I remind you. Oh, yeah. When Marty McFly went to the future in 2015, <laughs> the Cubs won the World oh, Series. Yeah, that's right. So they got all the fucking back to the future destiny on their side. This is the mm -hmm. year. I know it's only nine Wait, games, but the point is Josh nine games, you. that fucking comes out. I mean, that, that shit happens, man, in every single bit. That's a lot of I mean, to me, you're just dismissing it. You're saying, oh, oh uh, 
Plus, don't you want the kid on for opening day to make him feel good about it? He's going to have plenty of fucking opening days, dude, for the, uh, until yeah. 2021. Dude, this is a really okay? smart business move. Absolutely. You get him a whole other year if you sit him for nine fucking games. That's a no-brainer. Sit him. Sit his fucking stupid ass. Sit him. <laughs> sit down. Take a seat. Boy, you guys are... Fall back. Uh, I'm telling you, man, you guys are fucking weird. The Cubs have been terrible. Yeah, nothing to lose. For a goddamn... Century. So they can wait nine more games. <laughs> no, they can't. The point is, win now. Win Send now. a signal to your fan base. We're here to win this fucking year. We have Theo Epstein. We have all these people. And this kid hit nine home runs in 470 in spring training. He's on. He's in the opening day lineup. He's hitting fucking cleanup. Yeah, and, Period. You, and you don't think Theo Epstein has a goddamn uh, say in keeping him down there for nine games? Oh, no, it's Theo's decision. Yes. He, he's the guy who did it. So don't bring him up when you're f- making a point for the other, on the other uh, direction. I wonder, apparently, you know, Scott Boris, he went public and he's like, they, Scott they, Boris. They, they better fucking put him on opening day. Duh. And I knew this fucking dickhead was going to get this kid sent down because he couldn't keep his goddamn little agent mouth trap shut, for Christ's sakes. And he was going, he was basically challenging Theo Epstein's manhood. He was basically saying, listen, if the Cubs do it, they're a bunch of pussies. Well, you're not going to say that publicly, and then Theo Epstein's going to give in. So, of course, the kid's sitting down. It's, it's so, so pretty much, thank you, Scott Boris. Thank you for fucking everything up. Sting it. Maybe I just don't like him because he's the guy who did the A-Rod deal, and now we're saddled with that albatross for another fucking four seasons. I don't know. I think it's Yeah, he's going to be great. Speaking of Mike Francesa, he guaranteed A-Rod hits 20 home runs. All right, he's Asian, apparently. This is where you get you <laughs> the Dominican trumpet sound effect. No, um, the, uh, the 20 home runs for A-Rod, <laughs> over and under. Would you take that action, Pepper? Give me that Pepper, give me that let's under. keep it together over there. Give me that under. Yeah, Don't worry insane. about it. Listen to me. Jesus fucking We're Christ. We're coming to the end of this podcast with the wheels Hold on. Off. Over or under? A-Rod. I just said under. You're not paying attention okay, to Okay, under to A-Rod. So how many home runs does he have at the end of the year? He hits 12 home runs by the end of the year. What's his that's batting average? And how many games played, please? I, that's actually a st- okay. stat I'm interested in. All right. Uh, 100 games played. 100 games. So he's going he's gonna to have a, a couple of injuries, you're thinking. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All those hips are shot. All right. I know. Uh, he's got graham cracker <laughs> hips. 12 home He's got Derrick Rose hips at this point. 12 home runs. Hits 252. 252, 12 dingers, yeah. 60 ribbies around there. I'd say 45. 45? And it's a lot of solo oh, jacks and, uh, then. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you hit 12 home runs. You'd expect a few more RBIs in 45 with 12 home runs. And two, and I'm being generous on everything. All right. I, I'm saying this is the optimistic outlook. I think you're being actually generous on the batting average. I don't see him uh, hitting 250. I uh, see him 12 is a decent number. I can see that. 14, 15. I don't think he's hitting 20 home runs. I think Mike Frances is dead wrong about that. Uh, but, but you know what? If Frances is right for once, we'll give him credit. I, I actually think Frances is on, on point. Uh, 20, 25 home runs. 25 home yeah, runs. Yeah, 250 batters. 40 yeah. years old. Yeah. Missed all of last year. Yeah. Yeah. Real major league pitching. Yeah. Not, Doesn't not, have any juice. Not some 70th uh, kid who's not going to make the fucking team in spring training schmizbo. Yeah. But actual, he's going to be facing Justin Verlander and easy. the fucking... He's got it easy. Okay. Easy. You think he's going to hit 25 home runs? Mark it. Mark it. I Write will, it down. I'll bet you a dollar. One dollar For every is. home run. Oh. That means it's a $25 bet. Right. 25 for but 25? What if he goes over 25? 25 for 20? Then uh, yeah. I will show know the amount of home run money. If he gets, if he gets 20 home, home runs. Run, take Fine, it. home run money. Bam. You're in. A bunch of non-shaven You're motherfuckers. In. Like, I'm going to hold up to it. Anyway. <laughs> you heard him. He's not going to give you Did he just money. call us non-shaving motherfuckers? I don't know. Man. What is that supposed to mean? We don't shave? You shave That's all right. the time. The yeah, old, I the, shave. The old uh, reverse Hitler mustache. I didn't shave. <laughs> bullshit. I shaved. Uh, I didn't. Me? Pepper didn't. Yeah, he didn't. I was the one who fucking uh, stood up to the bet. Well, Roy Schaefer didn't shave. Didn't Pepper shave. didn't shave. But, but Roy did Photoshop that he shaved. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. It's the most offensive thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Uh, final four, final predictions. Final four, final predictions. Oh, Kentucky versus Wisconsin. Who do you like? How about play the uh, NFL music since uh, yeah. it's now football Coming season, out. Sean LB? NFL. You know what time it is, dogsy. Yeah. It's time to make Coming money. Up. It's time to make money. Pepper? Game one is it actually Duke versus Michigan State. 6.23 p.m. Eastern Standard tip-off on TBS. Not CBS, by the way. 
I thought that was weird. How does CBS not playing the fucking uh, Final Four? They're obviously playing the championship game on Monday, but they're not playing the games on uh, Saturday. They're they're giving it to TBS. Yeah, that's got, weird. Well, they got the final yeah. contract. I don't know. I, I think that's an odd scenario. Anyway, Duke, Michigan State, Michigan State, fifty-five, Duke, sixty-seven. Oh, Sean O'Barry. I don't know, Duke. Totally Michigan State. Duke, one hundred and six. Uh, said Duke earlier in the show. Yeah, I don't like Duke. I was just saying. Well, I'm not even going to you. Yeah, don't go I'm to sorry, me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Why? Final score. Duke 72, Michigan State 68. You heard it here from the Dave man. Put all, all your money in, especially if you want to lose it. And then the second game, the big time game. Battle of number one seeds, mind you. This is not some uh, little fucking tiny school. Wisconsin has been through the roof awesome this year. And many people would say they're the number one team if... There wasn't an undefeated Kentucky Wildcat team standing in front of them. Wisconsin versus Kentucky. Who wins? Kentucky, 71. Wisconsin, 64. Oh! That aligned. I agree with you, but I think this score is going to be a lot higher. I think we're going to see a lot of offense. I think we're going to see Kentucky, 84. Wisconsin, 76. Yo. Which sets up Kentucky versus Duke. Pepper Stanley, you're on the button. All right. Duke. 75. Duke 75. Kentucky. Kentucky. 73. Oh! oh! Upset special. Upset. Obviously. My Blue Devils. One would say that the cocaine has <laughs> gone to his head. That's where it's supposed one to go. One would say that old Chris Pepper Booze brain Stanley's at it again. Liquor brain. One would say a person who eats Cracker Jacks that have been rained on sitting by himself in Yankee Stadium <laughs> sealed. is clearly insane. But if one were to say that, one would be mistaken. <laughs> For I see Duke, 76, Kentucky, 75, Woo! upset, special. Special! For once, Pepper and the Dave Ben are in agreement. Upset, special. No undefeated season for you, Kentucky. Woo. Goodbye, Kentucky. And for the Davy Back Sports Program, Eastside Dave, Chris Pepper Stanley, Sean O'Barry, Roy Schaefer Harder, Louisa Schaefer, Eric Z. Good night. Hey, a little Davy Mac Sports Program fun fact. Go ahead. We are exactly 1,213 downloads away from 1 million total downloads. Whoa! That means we'll break that tonight. Absolutely. When we uh, when I go home by the time, it's because we average well over that. We are in the All tens right, of thousands. All right, so next dog. week, million downloads. <laughs> so, 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 yeah. Next week, we're going to fucking yayo it up. Yeah. Celebrate yeah. one million downloads of the Davy Mac Sports Program. I got the yeah. There you go. Take that, motherfucker. Yeah. Good night. <laughs>